Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Giteshwar Devan and I'm a third year psychiatry resident studying in Chandigarh. So you just didn't land up on this video, didn't you? You saw the title, something clicked in your mind and here we are. You and me, both of us, watching each other through the lens of this camera and the screen respectively. You could have opened some other video. There are multiple videos on YouTube. Rank 1, Rank 5, Rank 10, Rank 20, Rank 50. But they are not that relatable, right? A sense of relatability is lacking. We are hard working, we can study hard, but we are not that genius. So we want to get a rank which is gettable, for which we can plan in advance and maybe live our lives along with. And you are very right. In fact, I was also one of you. To top it up, I am from a private medical college. So a lot of you who might be foreign medical graduates, who might be studying in private colleges, seem to resonate to that as well. And here I am, following the same footsteps, trying to impart to you what I can to help you out, sort your neat PG strategy. So this is not a motivational video at all. In fact, I have talked about my journey already in a video which I have posted. So you can find the link in the description below. This video is about five crux points whatsoever your term of study might be. You might be a first year MBBS student, you might be an intern, you might be a post intern preparing for the neat PG examination. Number one, always keep believing in yourself. That is the main ingredient. You do believe in yourself and that's why you're watching this video because you want to do it. But never forget, whatever rank you may achieve in your grand tests, whatever your friends or relatives might tell you, you can do it and you're made for the stars. Keep on grinding and write your destiny with your hard work and consistency. Which takes us to point number two, being consistent. A consistent person who works hard can trump all geniuses combined together. Study one hour even on your worst day. Sabse kharaab din par bhi ek ghante se kam nahi rukna. Your best days might be eight hours, nine hours, ten hours of study. But even on the day where you don't feel like doing anything, study for at least one hour. If you're in first year, second year or third year of MBBS, ensure that at least on the weekdays, you study at least once an hour. Don't waste a single day. A consistent person will always be in touch with the books, will always be in touch with the final goal. Not studying at all for days and weeks together makes you lethargic and makes you forget your final destination. So keep that touch and study for at least one hour, even on your worst days. Number three, one topic, one source. Even better, one subject, one source. Don't jump the gun. Don't change your sources. Oh, but that platform is better. But that platform has two points extra. You're just wasting your time and nothing else. Take one platform for one topic or for a subject that is even better and master it. Read it again and again and again. Add what it lacks from the questions that you solve. But don't change your resources. Stick to one resource and master it. All platforms are made in such a way that your resource, whatsoever the platform might be, will be more than sufficient for the final exam. Number four, self-study trumps all forms of passive video watching. There might be tests and discussions available online. There might be rapid revision videos available online might be teachers discussing various questions with you. Your self-study cannot be replaced by those videos. So don't think that I've read it once or twice. Okay, so I now know the theory. I just need to brush it up with these MCQs. That is all passive things which are coming into your ears. You're watching the videos and you're fooling yourself that, oh, I remember everything. The videos of discussion and passive remembrance are only for those who have mustered their notes and are full control of their theoretical component. So keep on revising your notes to the point where you have mastered them and only then will the passive revision videos help you if you are in the early stage of preparation. And even if you are in the later stages of preparation, don't focus too much on the passive component. The more time you spend with your notes, the more time you spend solving MCQs, the better the results shall be. Number five and most important, plan one week in advance. Mota mota goal banao, make a broad goal. I have to cover so and so subjects. I have to cover so and so topics in the next one week. I understand it is very difficult to plan one day in advance every day, even if, but if you can do that, that is the best. If you cannot, the better way would be to plan at least one week in advance and check on yourself every day that are you following the right path. 80% of any goal, if met, is considered to be adequate. So if you're able to meet that 80% of a goal throughout the week, you're doing it right. That duration of one week gives you the accommodation of ups and downs. Not every day is the same. Some days you may be happy. Some days you may be able to study more. So a comprehensive one week goal will help you to guide your study forward. So these were five crux strategies which can help you to achieve a realistic and a good rank in the NEET PG examination. Subscribe to the channel and keep following my videos so we can talk more about what resources are to be followed 
and how do you have to plan those resources and study according to them.